The Tractor Cannon is an exotic power shotgun available from Engrams in Destiny 2. The first perk, Repulsor Force, causes this weapon to fire a powerful impulse that pushes enemies away. The second perk, the Scientific Method, will give you a temporary speed and handling increase when you damage an enemy with this gun. So first off, this gun really isn't a shotgun. Yes, you have to get close to use it like a shotgun, but that's about where the similarities end. This gun does not do massive damage like a shotgun would. Instead, you're trading a very large portion of the damage for a pushback effect. How much damage are we talking about here? Well, this shotgun literally cannot one-shot someone from damage alone in PvP. It takes two shots, maybe even three, depending on how close you are to your enemy. But the trade-off is that every time you hit them, they are launched back. The closer you are to them when you fire the weapon, the farther they're going to be pushed back and the more force that is applied to that push. More on that a little bit later though. The speed boost you are getting from damaging an enemy will last for 5 seconds and will not refresh when you damage something while you have the buff active. This is a little bit disappointing since 5 seconds really isn't that long of a time to close the gap on something that you've launched away from you. Most of the time you're able to get closer, but having that perk refresh on damage would really be nice to see. I should also point out that this is my only real gripe with the weapon in its current state. Right here is where I would normally get into PvE or PvP discussions, but I feel like I need to take a small bit of time and just talk about how fun this weapon is. Tractor Cannon was absolutely 100% built to be a weapon that isn't meant to be taken seriously. It won't be mapping people in PvP with one shot, and it won't be topping the damage charts in PvE. In fact, its PvE damage is so laughably low that I can't help but, well laugh. The only point of the weapon is to launch enemies, and maybe their lifeless bodies into walls or off ledges. And let me tell you, this weapon does that one thing exceedingly well. Have you ever been meleeed by a Cabal Phalanx shield and been sent flying into a wall to your immediate death? That is the power that you now wield with the tractor cannon. You are a walking physics engine of hilarity. Please use your power with reckless abandon. Now, on to how it performs in PvE. As I said earlier, the damage output is extremely low. You will probably only one-shot dregs and other extremely low-health basic enemies. Which you should, because watching their bodies fly around is hilarious. Other beefier enemies will probably just laugh at your damage, but they can't do anything about it because you're keeping them pinned into a corner with continuous booping. Which is kind of interesting, since this is one of the few weapons out there that can be classified as a crowd control style weapon, since you can move enemies around and actually control their positioning. I think the grenade launchers that blind targets are straight up better at that role, but again, Tractor Cannon is more about the fun factor than the usefulness. A surprisingly large amount of enemies are affected by the pushback effect. The only thing I found that can't be moved are some of the extremely large bosses and fallen walkers. In that case though, just use this gun to take care of the ads. The only disappointing things about Tractor Cannon in PvE is the previously mentioned low duration of the Scientific Method perk and the ammo reserves. Since the low damage of the weapon prompts you to use more ammo to kill things, it's just going to lead you to not having much ammo to use for fun. Now PvP is where the gun really gets to shine in all of its absurdity. You can knock people into walls to kill them, double tap them to get a damage kill, push them off the map if the opportunity arises, but generally you just get to create a ton of chaos by moving people when they don't expect it. If you want to get a kill by throwing people into walls, you have to be pretty close to them. The knockback effect gets weaker the further you're away from someone. This creates a pretty fun game where you can wait by certain areas of maps where you know you can easily get a kill, or sometimes just have to bait people into getting into a scenario where you have the better position. It's a pretty fun mini game to play that definitely gets easier once you learn maps. Like on Vostok, if you're fast enough, you can launch people off the map while they pick up power ammo. Or position yourself on the edge of the map and just boot people off the side of the mountain. You get four shots when you pick up a power brick, so that can easily be four kills, or possibly more if people are grouped up. So with a little bit of luck, you can ruin a lot of people's day if they aren't paying attention. I feel like it could easily be implemented into anyone's build to create an instant instant fun police loadout. Just add power ammo and you too can push people off the capture point or be a massive pain at choke points. Add in some suppression grenades from sentinels and you too can power a small city off kinetic energy put out by people throwing their controllers through their screens. 
I should also mention in big bold letters that yes, the tractor cannon is not competitive by any means. If you're only after kills, then normal shotguns are what you should use. But I can almost guarantee you that once you use this gun to its fullest potential, that fun factor will greatly outweigh most of the competitive desires that you might have. At least when you're just doing quick play or something. Pretty sure my teammates didn't enjoy me dying a bunch when using this in trials. So in short, the tractor cannon is a gun that should be used for those moments where you aren't doing anything too serious. So don't be mad that it isn't one-shotting people in PvP. It isn't meant for that. It won't be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Merciless on damage phases, but it can launch a fallen dreg's corpse a good hundred meters if you aim it right. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, a positive rating would be appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.